okay first thing to do is to sort out the table that the mill's on because that's too wobbly it's no good so a bit of bracing and a coat of paint and some shiny new leveling casters later that's ready for use oh, i gathered some materials some 38 millimeter brown bar aluminium some hammer handles some stainless steel rod some hammer faces and some new tools first thing i did was mill some flats onto the aluminium which will make it a lot easier to hold and now it's time to drill a big hole and then a slightly smaller hole in the middle which will be tapped to accept the replaceable heads um, uh, this is a woodworking bit and it wasn't happy about this and there's the 14mm hole in the middle and tapping that to M16 start the tap off in the mill it's a handy trick because it starts it going much straighter than you can do by hand uh, I didn't have a tap wrench that could handle this size of tap this took a while but it worked and the heads screw in nicely nice and firm but easily replaced when they get worn out now it's time for the handle mark that out start removing material with a drill because drills are cheaper than end mills and then mill that out also i bought this this ridiculous mill and i felt like using it so it's got another flat face on the top now just for fun it's a lovely finish though lots and lots of filing to get that hole out to the right size and shape to accept this handle give it a quick sand some finished filing I'm making a plate to go on the bottom what I'm going to do is run this stainless steel through it and glue it into the handle so when you're pulling pegs with the hook it's pulling against the, the plate on the bottom of the hammer as well as the glue the anvil's not wobbling here it, it is the camera but it really looks like the anvil this is the hole to accept the stainless rod along with some epoxy I'm aware this is slightly off center um, if one of the things I would have redone if I'd had a bit more time so screws and glue should be good and hard for pulling against and I'll sand the edge of that plate down to meet the handle uh, on the other end of the handle, cutting a slit to accept a wedge that will hold the head on. First, some finished sanding and some finished polishing as well. I decided I like the milled finish on the top edge, so I'm take that off so that didn't get polished out. I'm going to persuade that into place and then drive that wedge in would have been nice if the camera focused on this but I couldn't reshoot that fire a flame finish I really like for tools because it gives quite a lot of protection to the wood and it looks nice pine tar also good waterproofing good kind of mold and insect resistance as well it's the sort of hammer that's probably going to end up being left on the floor occasionally when you forget about it. So and I added some leather because I had some leather and I had a couple of minutes. Here it is. Camping hammer. Stainless steel hook for pulling pegs. Classy cream leather handle. And a polished aluminium head with replaceable striking face. Time to give it a go. I was being really gentle with these pegs because they are very old and they've been in the sun so they were just smashing to pieces under the hammer. Most of our pegs are steel and will work just fine. But it works. It's fast, it's light, it's comfortable. And you can pull pegs out with it. Camping hammer. 